Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to this Let's Play. It has been a full week uh, since I've played this game. I've been working on a whole bunch of other projects for you guys. A lot of good stuff is coming. I'm really excited. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're back at Tales of the Rise. Uh, I believe we're still in this spaceship. I think... Oh, that's right. We were we were, had something... We talked to that guy, and he wanted us to go destroy a planet, basically. All right, that's what it was. Ugh. Is the Renis Alma really our only hope against the Great Spirit? There has to be another way, right? Xion's Fire Master Core was able to suppress astral energy to prevent it from gaining sentience, right? Couldn't we make use of that somehow? I'm not sure. In small doses, maybe. But with the amount of energy we're talking about here... Back in Calaglia, the Blazing Sword was able to take in a whole spirit vessel's worth of energy. If it has the capacity to manage that, it can do this, right? Except after it absorbed the energy, it ended up releasing it all moments later, remember? Let's not forget, it nearly killed you. Besides, this is the great spirit we're talking about, not a paltry vessel. Even if I could use the Master Core, your body wouldn't be able to take the strain of channeling that much energy. Hevrecht 35 didn't mention it, and it did not seem the type to skimp on details. So assuming it's even possible, the chances are slim to none. You're probably right. Uh, okay. I have a feeling somebody's going to have to sacrifice themselves. I hope not, but I have a feeling. You still thinking about what the scientists told us? About where Renans really come from? I am, but not for myself. You're worried about the future of the Renan people. The fact that our people have been the same this whole time will only give the Danans further reason to resent us. But you still intend to confront this truth head on, don't you? Well... I did declare that I would live my life for the living, and not the dead. Even as I dream of retirement, I shall remain dedicated to the cause. I'm sure you'll do great. Now that I think about it, I don't believe I've ever heard you criticize or reproach us Renans even once. I'm no saint. I have skeletons in my closet too. There was definitely a time when I hated Renans for who they were. I hated them just for being Renan. But you changed that, Dohalim. You gave me an opportunity to see them in a different light. Thanks to your reforms, we were able to stand next to Renans not as slaves, but as equals for the first time in our lives. Of course, I'm sure there were some Renans who still hated us on the inside. But we knew that not all of you were like that. There were those of you who were good. And that was a start. When it comes down to it, Renans are just people. They can be good or bad, just like Danans. That is, in essence, the heart of your approach, isn't it? That we're all people. Yeah, it is. When you can pull someone aside and talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, then you have the chance to come to an understanding. But as soon as you stereotype, that chance goes away, and you stop thinking of them as people that you can relate to. I understand what you're saying. But we're talking about massive numbers of Renans and Danans alike. Realistically speaking, surely they won't all be able to get along. Even if we end up butting heads with one person, maybe we'll find better luck among their friends. If we can build a society that works like that, that'll be something worth nurturing and protecting. So you wish for people to form real bonds and do away with the hierarchy outright? To deal with one another as humans, and nothing more. That's the ideal future you hope to see when this is all over? Yes, I do. I think it would make for a fine tribute to my brother's legacy. Though, that said, I would be doing it for the people of the future first and foremost. 
Do you still plan to return to Lenigus when this is over? Indeed I do. I don't know whether I'll be able to reside in Lenigus proper, however. My first order of business may be to find somewhere to live. You'll always have a home in Menencia, you know. <laughs> As I shall ever keep in mind. Well, if you ever need a helping hand, don't hesitate to come get me. I'll always be there for you, Doe. Did you just... <laughs> Never mind. Thank you, Kisara. I appreciate your patience as I work all this out. Don't even mention it. And really, when you think about it, now that we know the two of us aren't so different after all, don't you think that brings down a barrier that used to be between us? <sighs> you know, I hadn't actually thought of it that way before. <laughs> but I do like the sound of it. Yeah, I think I do too. I don't know if those two would make a good couple or not. I'm not sure. Now those two, I'm shipping hardcore. <laughs> hey, why'd you call me here? Was there something you wanted to talk about? Well, if everything we've heard about the Great Spirit is true, then we're getting close to our final battle. So I wanted to apologize while I can. Apologize? For what? I was being real stupid before, about whether Dana's will had been controlling us and all that. I get why you're angry now. Anybody would be if something they trusted was being questioned. So, I'm sorry, Runwell. Really. I should have kept my mouth shut. No, Law. Honestly, I think you might have been onto something. Of course you were worried. Who wouldn't be if they found out there might be some invisible force pulling our strings this whole time? But you... you really trust Dana's will, don't you? Is it because you can sense it a lot more than the rest of us? Because you can understand it? Yeah, I think that might be part of it. But I think I also want to believe it's good. Believe? Remember how I used to really resent coming from a family of mages? Yeah, of course. Because you were always on the run and had to live in hiding. When we rescued Zephyr and... and I finally decided to come along with you all, something changed inside me. It was the first time I felt like my powers had any meaning. Even if that meaning was only helping you guys fight. Then, when I felt Dana's will, I was overwhelmed by how vast and warm it was. It made me want to believe my powers were made to connect with it. It made me believe I had a bigger purpose. So that's why you hope it doesn't turn out to be bad. You almost need it to be kind. Yeah. Well, all right. Then I promise I'll lay off bad-mouthing it. You will? There's no way for me to know for sure one way or the other, right? But you trust it, Rinwell, and that's enough for me. So I'll trust it because you do. Uh, remember what I said about neither planet's great spirit reaching us here? Hmm? Yeah? That's not quite true. I can feel just a little bit of Rena's inside you and everyone else. Uh, you... what? I sensed it when we first got here. It's a really small amount, so it doesn't feel like it has a will of its own. But I think that's how Dana's energy probably is, too. So you're saying there's a little bit of Dana's will inside each of us? In a way, doesn't that mean we're all Dana's will? What? Well, like you said, unless Dana's energy comes together, it has no will. So if we all have a little bit of Dana's astral energy inside us... Yeah... Maybe... Heffert 35 might know the answer. But... You know what? I don't need to ask it. My will is my own. I fight for who I want to fight for. 
That's who I am now. Who I've become. So thanks, Rinwell, for sharing that with me. Ah. To be honest, the only reason I was suspicious of Dana's will... Well, I mean, it mostly was... I feel like you and I had grown apart lately, and I was worried it was because... Huh? Uh, never mind. <clears throat> <laughs> Nothing. Just forget about it. Huh? Uh, no, what were you saying? Saying? I don't remember Come saying on. anything. Now you won't tell me what you were no, thinking? No, that's not what I'm saying. Then spit it out already. Um... Uh... <sighs> Oh, <laughs> those two are too cute together. <laughs> yeah, they uh those two need to get together. Are you sure to, you don't want to get some needs rest? to happen. I can't. I've got too much on my mind, especially knowing how close our last battle is. How are you doing, Xion? Same as you, still trying to absorb everything. Remember when it was so simple, we were only fighting all the lords on Dana? <laughs> all of that feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Ages and ages ago. Everything that's happened since we first met. So many fights, so much chaos. So many wonderful people. If I hadn't run into you that day, well, I wouldn't have met all of you. I never would have held the blazing sword or looked for something more. I wouldn't have my memories back. I'd still be a faceless slave, like as not long dead. Hey, Alfin. I want you to promise me something. Yeah? If we can't find the Renis Alma, there's something I want you to do. Like Hevrecht 35 said, the only way we can end the Great Spirit for good is to go after both the main body in Rena and the thorns in me. I need you to promise me, Alfin, that if for some reason we can't get the Renis Alma back, you'll use the Blazing Sword to destroy the Great Spirit and me along with it. Huh? It's true the Blazing Sword may not have the strength of the Renis Alma. But it's taken us this far. It's slain lords and beasts. At the very least, it has to be worth a try. You can't be serious. Have you forgotten everything Listen, that we- Listen, the Great Spirit isn't just our problem. It's a threat to our entire world. Renans and Danans alike. We don't know what's going to happen when we face it, but we need to be prepared for anything. We can't second-guess ourselves when the time comes. I promise you, I'm not planning on going anywhere. I'm prepared to fight with absolutely everything I've got. But if it comes down to it, I need you to be prepared too. Okay. But you should know that I'm not going to give up on you, Xion. I'm going to fight this until the very end. I hope you can forgive me for that. Alfin. Okay, I understand. And I'll forgive you. <sighs> Thank you, Xion. So it's a promise then? Yeah, it's a promise.
I remember how I felt the first time you touched me. Hmm? My thorns made any contact a mistake no one would ever make twice. After they'd seen what could happen, fear would always linger behind their eyes. In my entire life, I never had someone willingly reach out to me. But when you reached out to me and gently took my hand, you didn't react at all. It was so easy for you. I don't have words for the shock I felt in that moment. That's because I couldn't feel pain back then. Even once you could, though, you still chose to keep reaching out to me. And when you did, I felt this warmth that I had never known before. But still, I hate having to see you suffer through it every time you do. You won't have to worry about that for much longer. You think so? I do, because I... Shiana, I, uh... No. You can tell me once my thorns are gone. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Elfin was hinting right there. He loves her. Damn, that romance is awesome. Everybody get enough rest? You ready for this? Yeah, we should probably get moving. Agreed. Can't stand around waiting all day. Our task is relatively straightforward. We need only to send down to Rena, defeat the Great Spirit, and restore stability to both worlds. We're fighting for a new future for both Dana and Rena. Right. We've come this far. We will save our worlds. That's a promise. Then let's go, everybody. We've got one last wall to tear down. Repairs on your starship are complete. Everything is in working order. Is that you, Hevrek 35? You can see us from where you are? I can. I can see anywhere within the bounds of Dig Faisal. Sounds like someone's a peeping Tom. Maybe we should give Hevrek 35 a break. It has been stuck in this tiny facility for a very, very long time. I have unlocked all functions on your starship. You can now make use of its warp drive. Warp drive? Wait, you mean like what the Red Women used on us? What brought us here? It's possible that the Red Women may have found a way to activate it on the starship. They are Helganquil, after all. Using the warp drive, you should be able to breach Rena's atmosphere without being detected. Wait, should? You'll need to be careful. Due to the force field surrounding Rena, the ship will be unable to go any further than the surface of the planet. So, once we reach the shell, it appears we'll have to infiltrate the core by foot. Understood. We gotta go all the way down just... walking? Will all the Helganquil go back to normal once we defeat the Great Spirit? I have a strange feeling we're going to have to fight them before this is all over. The extinction of my people is inevitable at this stage. As such, it would be illogical to risk the success of the mission in a vain attempt to save my kind. Hmm. We understand. Can't that thing lighten up a bit? Everything it says seems to be about what's illogical. Well, come on, Doe. <laughs> Hold up. Did you just... <laughs> you heard the lady. Get going. I have one last question. What? As Sovereign, your identification number indicates that you are well past your predicted life expectancy. Similarly, the Maiden lacks any identification number, as her function should have been rendered unnecessary. Despite this, the two of you continue to exist. Why? exist because others have entrusted this to us. Over the years, many people have come together and sworn to see this through to the end. You mean it is because of multiple chance interactions? 
The likelihood of such events is statistically improbable. Why have you two continued to persist under these conditions? It's hard to explain. To be honest, I don't think it's something an observer could understand. All right, time to get back on the Fall Knights. All right. Take off. Uh, that was, yeah, just take off departure. Uh, we are good on CP. Yeah, we're really good on CP. Um, what about, are we good on, not that. Consumables, uh, lemon gel, orange gel, grape gel. I mean, we don't have any gold, do we? Well, we have 25,000 gold. Um, life bottles, we have seven. Ah, seven's not that many, actually, though. Is there a place I can go to buy shit here or not? Is there a merchant? Let me see, because... I'd like to get life bottles at least a 10. Uh, that's that's going to be closed, isn't it? Or no, that's just the... I remember now. Um, it's lower level, maybe. The area where all those people are. Yeah, this area. Is there somebody in here that sells stuff? There's a sleep thing over there. But I don't see a merchant, though. Let me run back there real quick. No, that's just resting. So there is no merchant. Of course there's no merchant in space. Why would there be a merchant in space, right? All right, well, I guess uh, we're just gonna hang out with uh, seven life bottles. <laughs> What's a guy gonna do, you know? Let's go to Rena. I'm curious to see what Rena looks like. I'm expecting like an alien planet full of zoogles. <laughs> it would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. I guess this means we should give that warp drive a spin. Not, well, I don't know. I didn't really know what to expect here. I mean, actually, this is kind of what I was expecting. There's nothing here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the Helganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is... dead. Then this must be the hollowing. You mean to tell me this whole world? The entire ocean is... that stuff? And it's covering everything. The entire planet. This is what the Great Spirit does. After it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy, it went after Dana. So arresting, this world of doom. Back in its day, Rena was probably just as vibrant as Dana is. 
But after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. And it bound the Helganquil in servitude, until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. Basically Dark Souls. <laughs> With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dan is going to look like? We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and life will not be spared in the end. If the oblivion and darkness both Shion and Naori saw comes to pass, nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's take a look. Destroyed remnants of Rena. It doesn't even look like any Zoogles are here either. The place looks completely dead. So this is Rena. This is where everything began. Yet it's a dead world? I won't let Dana suffer the same fate. Ever. A hollowed ocean as far as the eye can see. What do you think would happen if we fell in? What do you mean, what would happen? You'd drown, wouldn't you? Come to think of it, I don't believe I've heard of someone ever trying. Perhaps you'd like the glory of being the first? No, I'll pass. This is essentially a world-sized Renan graveyard. Are you proposing to disturb the dead slumber just to satisfy your curiosity, Law? No, because I said I passed. Taking an interest is understandable, but let's not forget where we are. This place deserves our respect. Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this one for a while. You think I was already snorkeling in it or something? So the idea is to seal the Great Spirit inside the Renes Alma using the Sovereign and Maiden's power. But just how do we do that exactly? I'm guessing it won't be as easy as holding a spirit channeling ceremony at our leisure. I already had wielded astral energy once three centuries ago. As for suppressing her thorns, Shion's had a lifetime's experience. The problem isn't just our enemy's strength, it's that it's sentient too. And you can bet anything you like, it's not going to just sit back and let us destroy it. In other words, we need to find some way to weaken it in advance. The Great Spirit, that is. Back when Shion's thorns flew out of control, we were able to deal with them directly. If this is their host, they should be even more corporeal here. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack at least. And if we can manage to divert enough energy away from the spirit's core, even temporarily, we might just be able to weaken it enough to steal the Renis Alma, which we can then use to seal it away forever. It won't be easy, but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up. Question for you. Let's say, knock on wood, everything turns out for the best. What'll the world be like? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think everything will be that different? A lot will have to change, that's for sure. The world will have to adjust to so much. My only worry is if those changes turn out to be merely skin deep. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Renan rule. But if it just turns the tables, it's all for naught. That's true. Just as bad if the Danans start oppressing their own. Renans, Danans, astral art users, mages. The world is full of labels used to divide and separate people. If only we could see differences like that for what they are. No different to someone having a musical talent or being good with their hands. Not differences so much as characteristics. It will take someone in power to set an example. But with time, people will follow. And then, perhaps one day... There will no longer be any need for the example. It will have become second nature. That's where we come in. 
We can set the example. Imagine it. A world where magic and astral arts are used to help people. Where that's the norm rather than the exception. Yeah, you're right, Rinwell. Why wait for somebody else? We can show them ourselves. Okay, so what do I got here? Mm, not very many things. What is this over here? Is that just the ship? Yeah, that's the ship. All right. Man, look at this big area. What's over here? Oh, uh, that's a teleporter. So we got a teleporter. We got another teleporter over here. And I'm guessing that's another teleporter over there. Yep. Alright. I'll take the first teleporter. I'm guessing we'll have to go through areas and... Looks like we've warped into that pit of astral energy. Unlock more teleporters, I think. I wonder what Helganquil civilization was like at its zenith. I can imagine that'd be something you'd take an interest in. There's no question it must have been advanced, like none either world has ever seen. We could surely stand to learn a thing or two from such a people. I get that you're itching to delve into its history, but we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Put a pin in it, and you can do all the research you want when you retire. I can think of worse things than a retirement dedicated to research. As for whether Rena is amenable to an aging specimen... It's a little early to be giving it serious thought just yet. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Oh, we didn't say there's anything wrong with dreaming. In your case, Dohalim, dreams have a habit of spiraling into something else. You'll need to stay with us for now, though. You're too helpful to let retire. Why do I feel this is less of a compliment and more of an ultimatum? Just a friendly suggestion. Hey! Hey, I just realized something! Is this about dinner last night? I didn't realize those ingredients were off. What? No, I mean... Wait, you fed us rotten food? Rinwell, the point. Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So I was thinking about those armored soldiers we've seen. There are regular Renans inside them, right? Yeah, they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger. At least, I think that's the idea. Right. So it kind of begs the question, then. Why are they made so huge? I don't know, makes them more intimidating, I guess. Or maybe all that tech wizardry inside takes up a lot of space. You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the exact same height as the Hell Ganquil? Can't say I'd ever noticed it till now. And? Connect the dots, Law! Okay, let me get this straight. You think the armored suits might have originally been designed to allow Renans to work alongside the Hell Ganquil? Huh. But if that's true, what would that mean? It would mean... just that, I guess. But still, don't you think it's kind of interesting? Not... hugely? Hey, Kisara, well, I've got you. What's on tonight's menu? Because I was thinking, maybe meat? Get him, Hoodle. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, what did I do? Oh, now you want to listen. Keep pecking, Hoodle! Uh, ow, ow, ow! Seriously, what the hell? <laughs> you know, guys, when you think about it, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. You can say that again. If one thing's for certain in this world, it's that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana, let alone up in Lenigus. The only thing I can think of, then, is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Zoogles originally used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? Being genetically modified isn't their fault. You're right. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. We altered the original creatures to suit our own ends. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. 
Now we're trying to kill them because they're a threat. They really have only seen the very worst, huh? I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them one day. It's a nice thought, but they attack towns and cities. What else are we supposed to do? Aside from the strays that have gone wild, it's worth remembering that Renans are able to keep them somewhat under control. If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap, that might reduce the danger they pose. Well, I guess when you look at it that way, maybe people and Zoogles aren't so different after all. Hmm. So Zoogles were actually modified from animals, is the way it sounds. That's the teleporter we just took. Ganquil. Guess they don't need their red woman disguises anymore. Wait, can you understand us? That would be a no. <laughs> it's no use. We're not going to get through to them. So they really are being controlled. In that case, we've got no choice. Ugh. <sighs> I knew there was something off here. Wasn't there only three of them? Now there's a whole bunch of them. These things are always so tanky to fight. Get out of there, I'm stuck. That's bad. It exploded? Don't get caught in the blast. You are in tip top shape. I'm done here. How could a girl ever say no? As impressive as always. No, I I mean you're even better than ever. I've never seen Tion actually look flustered. This ends now! Consider yourself finished. Well, those weren't as tanky as the ones we fought before, so that's good. I can't forgive them for what they've done, but I hate killing them. They don't even know why they're fighting. How does that even make them any different from the Danon slaves? Perhaps. However, if we don't make a choice, the guilt of not doing anything will be that much worse. Yeah, I know. I hate for it to be like this. But if it happens again, you won't find me hesitating to act. I wonder if we're going to get attacked again. If we lose heart now, this whole mission is over. We have to stay the course. 
Oh great, now I see Google, Google's up there, Zoogle's up there. Uh, what time are we at? Oh, we're at 40 minutes, yeah. Alright, um, how big, oh, these are small areas at least, but uh, how many of these areas are we going to have to go through? That's a good question. Uh, but stay tuned guys, in the next episode we're going to continue to make our way through here. I think we're at, I think we're in the end game though. I believe so. So we shall see. Stay tuned guys, more coming soon.